Hi, this is Karen Inglis, um, and I thought I'd do a quick uh, video chat here from my office on this lovely sunny day in London. Actually, we're rather excited when the sun comes out over here. Um, and it was really just to celebrate the fact that I've brought out now the second edition of How to Self-Publish and Market a Children's Book. Some of you may already have the first edition. Um, for those of you who do, it's really just to say that is a, this is a far more comprehensive um, book now. It has got a lot more on Amazon advertising, on the different uh, the other sorts of advertising that I've looked at. Um, there's a whole section on audiobooks, creating and marketing them, uh, as well as things like translation and foreign rights, and also um, lots of new platforms that have come on stream since 2018. As we all know, it's a fast moving market. But the great thing is everything is here in one place and it's based on my many years of experience. As you know, uh, a lot of the original information that was evergreen, of course, is still in there. And I always say to people, please don't underestimate the value of doing your local marketing and starting slowly and branching out from there. So this is very much aimed both at beginners still, but also at more seasoned self publishers. And there's even Amazon advertising strategies in there that I follow uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, and as you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive book. It's pretty big. It comes in at 400 and uh, I think it's 436 pages now. So there's a lot of it. And um, it has a very comprehensive table of contents at the front, which means that you can find your way around quite easily. But then for those of you who are um, already very established self-publishing and don't feel that you really need to read about how to go about the process, I then got the sibling, I'm calling it the, the sibling uh, title, How to Market a Children's Book. And this basically takes all of the marketing information from this book um, and repeats it in here uh, with the addition of translations, because I cover both translations and foreign rights in here. And translations really comes under how to self-publish um, rather than the marketing side, but I've, I've included it in here as well. Um, so it was really just to say, I was very excited when I got the final proofs because I think they look fantastic. These are my Amazon copies, but it is now available through Ingram Spark, which means you can order it uh, through any online bookshop. Uh, and it's also available as an ebook with Amazon and more widely. Um, so there we go. Uh, and one other thing is I always say to people, I prefer these sorts of books in print. So I would recommend getting the print one. Equally, if you buy the ebook, I actually make a slightly higher royalty for some bizarre reason. So I'm not trying to force you to buy the, the print book for, for monetary reasons. It's just that it's lovely to have it on the desk. And a lot of people who've reviewed the first edition of how to self-publish and market a children's book have said exactly that. Um, again, if you're new looking at this, do look online. The early reviews are coming in are very good of this. But if you, you know, want to read more, look for the first edition. I think there's over 100 odd reviews um, of it there. And for those of you who might not know me, I probably should have said this at the beginning. I, I, am, I have been self-published since 2011 and I have now sold. Uh, I was doing my figures actually last night. I had to check them for something else. And in fact, The Secret Lake... Um, has now sold over 300,000, I think it's 300, quite a bit more, 300, over 300,000 print copies now um, in the English language. And in total, I've now sold over 320,000 books in print. Um, and The Secret Lake is also translated. You can see some of the copies up behind me there. Um, it's translated now into, um, it's being translated into a total of eight languages and it's out in four or five of them. And this was the latest one I got, which is the Turkish one, which is absolutely beautiful. It's got this ribbon, as you can see, and uh, they've even put a little dog in the middle of it, you know, uh, interspersing the chapters, even though I think in the contract it said they're not meant to do that, but I don't mind. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so thrilled with it. Um, and there it is on the back there. And it's just, you know, again, I talk about translations and foreign rights uh, and what to look out for if you are approached, what to look out for in your contracts, that sort of thing. Uh, should that, that's if you're in the down in your more advanced marketing uh, uh, side of things. Um, but I also wanted to come back just to say briefly, um, I obviously the Secret Lake has sold a lot, but also I have sold in my thousands in my, my on my other titles. And so, and you can still make a, a decent income that way. And for example, the Tell Me Tree, which you can see over there, that's now, that came out in July, that's a picture book, but that's now sold over 3000 print copies. And I'm getting 
lots and lots of feedback from schools who are using it and, and all of my other titles have sold in their thousands so um, it's not just about the big winners um, it's self-publishing you know there's a lot to offer if you do it properly so um, if you know me I would recommend getting either one of these two depending on on how, how, how much you want to see about the self-publishing side in here uh, and if you are new to self-publishing uh, or haven't read it I would highly recommend getting this book it is a little bit more but I'd say it, it's definitely worth the extra. Anyway, um, uh, hello and goodbye from sunny London. We all get a bit excited, as I say, when the sun comes out. And I hope you're all staying safe and looking forward to things opening up even more um, in, the coming, in the coming months. Bye for now.